Howdy, y'all. We're going over a local population being terrorized by an entity known as the Manus Man. The creature was described as standing about seven feet high, having mandibles and large, intense black eyes. One observer described the creature as fading as it moved up the river bank where it was spotted, leading to speculation that perhaps the beast was using camouflage and blending into its surroundings. The second observer reported hearing a homing and feeling tingling sensations and seeing the manus man spread swings observed in a threatening gesture like so. It also eventually vanished into a fog down by the river. Somebody reported it to the police. The police tells us that another person, my personal acquaintance friend of mine, Mr. Strickler, saw the mass man in a river bank. I saw something strange a few weeks ago on the M. Kong River near my home in Hackettstown, New Jersey. I was driving home from the drugstore on Newburgh Road, and as I drove the bridge over the river, I noticed to my left something that I thought was a fisherman standing down by the river just off the south bank. I slowed the car, looked closer, it wasn't a person, and it was transparent like, with a weird shape. It moved slowly towards the bank and into the trees. I drove further so I could see it coming out of the trees. That's the last I saw it. It was tall, eight foot, and it had long, thin arms hanging off it. The color was a pale brown. But I could see through it. The head was small compared to the body. It was sunny that day, so I thought it may be glare from the water. But after I thought back, I realized I wasn't seeing a mirage or a glare. I checked the internet, because we have that nowadays, and didn't see nothing about it. I mentioned it to a co-worker in my office at lunch on Wednesday. He gave me the strangest look. I thought, uh-oh, he thinks I'm nuts. We went back to his computer, and he brought up the Hackettstown forum with the other Manus Man witness. Manus Man siding on the income. This ain't no joke. I like a good story like anybody else, but my friend Bubba told me a story today that was so profound that I felt the need to share with the rest of the town. Ooh! This friend of mine who told me this story is a very successful businessman. Deep into our conversation today, he started tearing up uncontrollably and told me he had something to get off his chest. And I've been eating at him for some time. I hope you're ready for this because I was barely about a year ago. My friend and his brother were down at Stephen State Park fishing right around dusk. During this time, while his brother was roughly 50 yards downstream fishing, he said he felt this strange vibration in his right ear. <coughs> and from that, he turned and looked to his right. When he turned and looked to the right, he said he saw this six to seven foot tall 
praying mantis looking man like so. Just standing there and unable to believe what he could see in. He said the creature was black and gray. And to be quite honest, the way my buddy Bubba was telling me his story, I was having a tough time. I know he saw this thing because I couldn't see it in his face. Anyhow, we grew a praying mass man on the muscular tongue right after that. And turns out my friend was not alone. I can't even empathize enough how bad my friend was crying today over what he saw. When I saw the Manus Man, it was in one of those gaps, moving back up the bank towards the field, looking back out over me, it's left shore about 15 to 20 yards away. So I understand there was still several feet above me, and framed clearly against the blank slash white sky. Like a full ghost apparition, it was indeed clear, but nevertheless, nearly transparent and fading fast. Then it evaporated mid-stride. I didn't know I knew that word. Again, I stress the strong impression that the managed man was cloaked and I caught it just right. Uh, just and quickly. No, I do not believe it slipped into another dimension slash plane. I detected movement and first saw that strong left calf. and strong right calf. Then the whole thing immediately, those eyes slash face. Ooh! The whole encounter was only a couple of seconds. I cannot tell you with strong certainty what its feet or hands looked like. I wasn't looking there, but I can tell you its arms were no more. And not the little manis little forelegs I have recently seen in drawings of these aliens. This has been your host, Luke. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. Hope you have a good night and enjoyed my impression of no one in particular and is just purely for fun and entertainment. Uh, I did this artwork a while back. It's a mantis, you know, like spreading its, ar its arms in a threat display or whatever they call it. Um... I hope you enjoyed this video. I just did it for purely entertainment reasons. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.